Hi! Hello lovelies, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is the place where I watch basically whatever I want. And yes, welcome back to the We are here with another comeback related episode. Uh, I'm super excited. I just recently, a few days ago, listened to the whole Cinema Paradise album uh, and that was a lot of fun. I have been listening to the songs over and over again. I still cannot really decide what my favorite is on the album because I really enjoy Good So Bad. I really liked Kill the Romeo and I really liked Road Movie as well, which was a very you know, a surprising thing. I didn't expect that it would be such a favorite, but I really have enjoyed it. So we'll see. They're definitely still fighting. Um, but I think like having half of the songs be fighting for the favor is quite a good thing because that means that they created a bunch of good stuff. Um, but anyway, though, we're going to be checking out some live stages and we're also checking out the Kill the Romeo studio tomb, which I didn't think would be dropping. Like I was a little bit upset because I, I, I enjoy performance 37 like it's not that different from studio Tomb. I just think that in some ways like the camera work and the lighting is a little bit different and like I feel like studio Tomb is on top with these things um so like usually I, I tend to favor that however performance 37 is fine um but I was like I wonder why they didn't do it on studio Tomb. I was like something going on here um but then they were released the teaser and they're like we're gonna do kill the romeo in studio too so that's very interesting uh but anyway we are going to be watching both good so bad and kill the romeo on m countdown i'm warning you right now that this might get blocked so please check the title of this video to see if this video has been blocked or limited in any way because i don't know m countdown usually isn't that great with me however i feel like it is the probably the best like because they haven't they didn't perform it that much um and also i feel like it's the best quality that i might get so i think that's what we're going to stick to and then we're also watching the studio tomb for kill the romeo after that so we're doing good so bad kill the romeo and countdown stages and then lastly we're doing the studio tomb so that is what we're doing hopefully this video will not get blocked but who really knows but i'm very excited to check this out i think it's going to be really fun so we're going to dive right in and get into this and we're starting like i said with good so bad on m countdown i believe the debut performance like the first performance that they did for their comeback period but i'm not really sure um but anyway i hope you're excited let's go ahead and get into this let's go all right, lovelies, are we ready to get into this? We're starting with our first performance. This is the Good So Bad performance on M Countdown, the tw 29th of August. That's right. I can't read dates when it's like put out this way. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, but yeah, I've already seen this choreography, of course, because I watched the music video, but also I watched the performance 37, like I said. Um, that was blocked from the original video. I'll link it up there, but you'll have to go to the Patreon version to actually check it out because it was blocked from the full video so it is on patreon if you would like to see it uh but yeah i'm excited to get into this though there's like a two minute intro or something like that uh so we'll see i'm assuming it's gonna be like a like a cinematic intro to this uh and it's usually what it is on the like first performance so i am excited but anyway let's go ahead and get into today's video listening to the song over and over again i think it's one of their best title tracks to be honest like in bloom changed my life honestly like when i first listened to that song it was an incredible experience so like i feel like in bloom is probably my favorite title track but this one is so good too because it has like a different like a different vibe than usual but also it's pretty similar like somehow they managed to stray away a little bit from the usual concept but also stay in the lane you know it's very interesting but i really like the vibe of it a lot and the like actual chorus is so catchy i don't want to i don't want to cut you off i love you but yeah i just there's so many fun moves in this choreography that i just love again this little like like standing in a row business it's so cute i was thinking of something else as well I do like that Hamden part a lot though, but it's just like the the vibe he's got, like da 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 da. Like I, I don't know. I like the way that I get an ending fairy, so I'm gonna just take a quick sip here. Yeah, I feel like I need to like <laughs> say that a little bit better at the last part. I love watching Hanbin do what he do it does best. That's what I meant. Work is work. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you know, I, I love. I just love watching him do. What? Yeah, I love watching him do what he does best. Anyway, that was cute. We got the 
the Matt Youngs, the oldest Youngs for this one. That's very fun. All right. That was the first performance we have for today. That was good so bad. Again, I kind of gotten used to this choreography a little bit. Not much though, because again, there's a lot of parts. There's a lot of like, like uh, things happening all at once. I feel like in this choreography, there's a lot of like, like breaking off into groups as well. Um, so I feel like I constantly need to like look through it and like work through what's going on but we will watch the dance practice hopefully as well hopefully they make a like fixed version uh for a practice video so i can check that out as well because i feel like that helps a lot because with the the way that performances usually are it's like a more theatrical than like actually practical look into the choreography you know so I want to see that a little bit more, but I'm sure if I do another video, I want to get to like the music video reaction that they did, like their music video reaction, and like possibly you know the behind the scenes to the music video when we get that. Um, so I will wait probably for that, but I want to see a dance practice if they do release that soon enough, hopefully. Um, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, everybody. Oh my gosh, it's too hot in my apartment. Um, but anyway, though, we're going to go ahead and get into our next song, Kill the Romeo. We're going to be watching that on the um, music countdown. Oh my god. We're watching that on countdown as well uh, from the same day, uh, same debut day. Uh, and I'm very excited for this because I have not yet seen much of it. I have seen the, like, I've seen um, some TikToks of it. Like, they've released TikToks. Uh, and I've seen, like, one part. Which is like that part, you know what I mean? Like where the beat drops, if you call it that. So I've seen that. But other than that, I haven't seen much. So we'll see what we get. But I'm very intrigued and very excited to see Kill the Romeo choreography. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, but anyway though, hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go. Alright, lovely. So let's go ahead and get into our next performance. This is Sierra Base 1, Kill the Romeo, on the same day, on the 29th of August. I can finally read that right. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to finally see this choreography. Um, it's only been like a little bit. It's been two... It's been a little more than a week now, because I'm recording this on a Tuesday. So it's been like a week and a day since the... like. Um, the uh, album was dropped, uh, so I'm very excited to see this though, but again, this was only like a little bit ago. This was just a few days ago. Uh, so I'm very excited to see this performance. I think it's going to be really fun, and I'm a little bit nervous about the stage costumes as well, because I think I saw Gonok in the, the thumbnail of this, and uh, I don't know how to feel about it, so we're going to see how this works out for me. Um, but anyway though, I'm excited. We're going to watch this, and then we're going to jump into the studio tune right after that to get kind of a... Uh, a vibe there hopefully when the i hope they drop a dance practice for this as well so i could get like all the details of the practice and like the choreography because that's what i want uh so we'll see hopefully that happens um but anyway though let's not stall anymore i'm stalling because i'm scared but let's go ahead and get into this let's go god this is giving oh god which performance was it it was um on guard on king on uh not kingdom God. <laughs> Boys Planet does it not give that, right? This his tiny little waist and his jacket. That is what it's giving me right now. Give the part that I'd seen. I love <sighs> Jiwon just has this freaking talent of like he's so graceful while doing the most like hard hard looking choreography. You know what I mean? Like, that looks like it would break my neck. Like, doing that would break my neck. However, it looks so effortless when he does it, and I don't know. I just think it's because of how he looks that just anything he does looks graceful. Because he just looks like an angel, you know? I, mean, I love that he just incorporates tutting and whatever he's doing. He does. He just has got to put it in there whenever he can. I was thinking of something. Yeah, I feel like since I listened to the song, I think I had a little bit of a different interpretation than I do it now. Like, at first, the song was more like, like, they are the Romeo, and, like, we are going to forget our story and just, like, move past that. But I feel like now it just sounds like they're about to kill the potential Romeo. They're not Romeo. They're trying to kill the Romeo, like, the actual person, and then we're going to run away together. That's kind of my interpretation now. I don't know though. That's actually personal, but that's what I feel. I'm not 
I'm not okay with that. What the fuck? Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. <laughs> His birthday is like a few days after mine. So like I am aware of that whenever it comes up. Which is, it done, it's done once before. Um, cute. But I'm not ready for any ending fairies. I'm assuming it's going to be Gunu because he was in the thumbnail. I love the last like 30 seconds of this. It was just them having a big old fun old party basically. <laughs> like they were just jumping around and doing stuff. It, it looks good obviously. Like it wasn't like it was not amazingly done. However, it was just very fun at the end of being like, let's go. Yeah. The point choreography is so good in the song. The like the putting the gun over the shoulder. And again, it's Ji Wong and Han been doing that. Where it's like, bah, so good. Oh. You always gotta be cute, bitch. I can't handle you. Alright, that's a little too... I'm... There we go. I'm gonna pause on him. Ah, let's do that. Let's do that instead. Even though it's a little harder to see. A little less HD. Oh my god, that was really fun to watch. Again, I need to, like, analyze this better and, like... A little bit more because I feel like there was a lot that I probably missed because I was just like vibing to the song because I really like the song so it's like I was probably just having a lot of fun there um but yeah like I said that point choreo is so stunning I've seen it on TikTok like multiple times and I've been like scroll scroll because I knew I would I, I knew I would filming this video today so I was like no 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 we're not we're not watching that today uh we're watching that now uh and it was really fun though to look at um and these outfits are stunning i love the mix between like the dress shirts and the leather and the just black clothing and i love just given's whole like black fit again <laughs> he's giving on guard right now ricky as well what is it with you sir but they all looked incredible, of course. And like Hanbin's undone tie. Um, yeah, it looked really good. <laughs> it looked really sick. I really like these outfits, like I said, and I love this choreography a lot. So I'm happy and I'm excited to watch the studio too. I don't know if it's the same outfits, but I don't think they are. Perhaps I can't tell with no, I don't think they are the same outfits. We'll see though as soon as we get into this, but I don't mind either way. But we're gonna watch the studio tomb of Kill the Romeo. I'm excited that they like decided to be like, let's do the B-side for Studio Tomb. That's really fun. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into that as well. Let's go. All right, lovelies. Are we ready for our last video for today? This is the Kill the Romeo Studio Tomb original series one. We're going to see this now. Um, it's going to be pretty similar, I'm assuming, to how it was like watching the performance because, again, this isn't as much of a practical look into the, into the performance as like a, a like a whole, th like, there's th all the senses have activated. You know what I mean? Like, you got you to gotta watch everything, you got to listen to everything. Uh, and so, like, you kind of become overwhelmed and, like, with the camera movements involved, it's like a little too much to be able to catch it, the smallest details. Um, so that's why I enjoy like dance practices to be able to see that. Um, but I'm excited for this though. I think it's going to be really fun. So let's dive in into this and see what's going to happen. This dropped like yesterday, I believe. So I'm very on time for this. Yeah, not even 23, not even 24 hours ago. I'm very happy that I'm this early. Um, but anyway, though, I hope you guys are ready. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> We're not the same outfits, but they're pretty similar. Woo! Alright. This hairstyle on Matthew, by the way, like, I don't know what they were thinking. They wanted to kill me, I guess. Hold on, let me see everybody. Yeah, we got, we got sort of a, a similar feel, but not entirely. Oh, Stop looking at me like that. Let's go. 
Camera movement. Sorry, I forgot by the way who did this. Was, did I say Ricky and Jiwon? Yeah, I said Hanbin and Jiwon. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot that. Of course he did that part. <laughs> I just forgot about it. Whoops. Sorry, correcting myself right now. He's got something on his lip again. Love that, though. Baby, let's Woo! Ooh, he's perfect for that part because of his back. Ooh. I don't know why I love Tana doing this song. I don't know. He just brings like a cuteness to this song that like I didn't think was possible, but he just does it. Oh my god, I need to see that again. Hold on. Tere is just cuteness though, he's cuteness embodied, so. Slay. Ooh. I love the way that they, can I just say this? I love the way that they film Given. This is gonna be a very Given centric video now. I don't know why I've mentioned him a lot, but I love the way that they film him. Cause if, he's, just, he's really tall, right? He's like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, I don't remember how tall he is, but he's really tall. And like every single time like somebody films him, they like really emphasize how tall he is by like going a little lower and like doing an up pan shot, you know? I don't know why. Every time he, they do something like that in these performances, I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> it looks so, it looks so good, and it's like, it just emphasizes that. <laughs> love it, little, little inclusion of a little gayness. We love that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Get in my shoe. Run away. Like what? I didn't even notice the core. Like again, I didn't notice the choreography the first time, but it's so sick. Like so cool. Oh, he just takes over. Boom Boom Bass? That's what the song is called, right? Yeah, it's called Boom Boom Bass. Rise. Still have to do a catch up to them because they've released some music videos. So. Sort of. Kind of. Ah! Yeah, this is the party part, you know? <laughs> Uh, this guy, visual of the nation. Hold on. Do you have single? We do have single member shots. We love that. Hold on. I just want to say real quick before I forget to mention it. Ganook does this song so well, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the way he's built, <laughs> or like his energy when he's on stage. But I feel like the song fits him so well, and he doesn't really have many like killing parts. I would say. 
I mean, he does kind of, like, almost start the song, you know? And, like, I don't know. He's got some parts, but he's not, like, really any, like, the center most of the time. Makes sense for a nine-person group. But still, I just, I don't know. He just does this so well. He just, like, this song feels so much like him, you know? But everybody does well, of course. All right, let me see the single-person shots. He's also got a lip ring, bitch. Ugh. You see, I was so focused on the nails, like, I didn't even notice that his tattoos were out. <laughs> That's how focused I was. I know I was, I was being good. I was being, I was being good. I was being a good boy. Those contacts on him. I'm going my way. He's always gonna be a cutie patootie. What is it with you? You can have, like Chang Nao can never just be hot. He's always got to do his little smile at the end there. I'm not complaining, of course, but like, come on. With this song? You gotta, you, you gotta smile like that? It's so unfair. <sighs> yeah, man, I love this song. I think it's so fun. And again, I love that mix of the the deepness and also the dance part of it. And uh, I feel like my brain just melted. I'm like, I have nothing to say anymore because I have, I have, there's nothing in there. <laughs> there's, my brain is just empty. Um, but I just, I really like this song. What else can I say? I love the performance of it. I thought it was really fun. I think like both the like really charismatic, like deeper parts and the dance parts were represented really well because they were like spinning, they were spinning around a lot in this song as well, which I love that. Very different vibes with Good So Bad and Kill the Romeo, but in both songs they were just twirling but <laughs> that's great to me i love that um but yeah i'm really hot after that i don't know why i just think it's constantly hot in my apartment building i don't know maybe somebody just constantly has heating on because i don't even have my heating on and it's already really hot in here um but i really enjoy this though i thought you i hope you thought this was fun and like i said i'll be back when they drop more stuff hopefully they'll uh, get a music video behind and other stuff soon enough so We'll see. I believe the second video that I planned for this week for Serial Base 1, which will be later, of course, uh, I think I'm finally doing the last episode of CBTV, uh, and then I'm going to be diving into other stuff as well. I still want to get to the, um, like, first, like, one-year anniversary video that they did, where they were, like, visiting Planet Camp again. So I think I want to get to that uh, pretty soon, because, again, I feel like that was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was, like, like five months six months ago no less than that but it was a while ago uh so i'm very excited to check that out finally and see some more stuff um but anyway though that's enough i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one whenever i drop that um and yeah yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the outro let's go Alright, lovelies, that was all I had for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit, like, I'm not really that caught up yet. Um, thankfully, though, that I have finally, like, put together my schedule so I know how I should do things um, moving forward. But I think today I've done a little bit of catching up, so that's good. Um, but I really enjoy both of these performances, of course, and I really bo enjoy both of these songs. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching me do whatever I was doing. I feel like I'm a little bit of a interesting headspace today, so we will see how that comes out on camera. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I believe I'll be doing the last episode, episode 14, and the uh, our season uh, music drama. I'll be doing that uh, as our, like, next video for this week because again I think I have planned out my usual I said I made a little update video regarding my schedule uh and like I was saying that I probably won't be doing like guaranteed two videos a week for my weekly groups but I think because I have like been skipping out on so much stuff that I probably have planned that out I think so um so I'm probably going to be doing that uh and then we'll see how things go moving forward um but yeah let me know if you have anything else that you want me to see from this era uh, I'm sure that they're going to have released um release some more stuff uh soon enough so I'll be sure to get to uh whatever you guys want me to check out 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing or going over to my Patreon and checking me out over there. Either one would help greatly. Um, and also, if you enjoyed this, you can like this video. That'll help me out in the algorithm. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have anything to request uh, from Sarah Base One or any other artist and leave that down in the comments below so I can find it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Free Palestine. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, so yeah. Bye-bye.